ship will carry on for the safe to show. The citizen of the ward is awarded this year to Elsie Edgecombe. Now I know she can't be here, but do we she have a representative? Here. She is here. here. Well. Thank you. Elsie has done a tremendous amount for the town over many years, including being in, very instrumental in the Shadow Centre and things like that. I have a long list, which I won't read to you. It's absolutely staggering what she has done for this town. And I thank her very much indeed. Now, what was most remiss of me is that I didn't actually, because I wasn't watching what I was doing, give out the, the cups that went with this as well. So, uh, Joe Loin, please. The best performance cup goes to you. Now, that's I think it's best if I give this to you while you are sitting down. This is the Saltash Citizen of the Year cup. I was beginning to run out of hands. I don't know about you. Thank you very much. You can guess what's coming, can't you? How are you on? The dipper related to the town. Thank you very much. Uh, like the lions, I have a feeling that I'm going to need this in the next couple of hours. Right, thank you everybody. I think it, we're now going to come on to the Mayor to officially open the Mayfair. Right everybody. Now comes the time when I let you loose on all of the entertainment and all of the stalls. We've done this... Uh, Mayfair up here for a couple of years now and it does give us the opportunity to have many more displays than we used to do down at 4th Street and I'd like to thank the Lions for laying this on for us. It, it's a tremendous amount of work. Almost the first thing that happens after the Mayfair shuts for the final time this year will be starting to get ready for next year. They do a tremendous amount. I'd like you to thank them for everything that they do. I just sit and watch them do it. So now we have the perfect combination. We have entertainment, we have food, we have drink, we have lots of friends here, and we have the chance to raise money for charity at the same time. What more could you want? And so far as is practicable, I can guarantee it probably won't rain that much. Probably. Though I have to say the ground down the foreign is a little soft. There's all sorts of things going on. Grab a chance to have a look at the programme and see what's going on. However, let's get to the good bit. I now declare the 2014 Mayfair open. <laughs> How are you on? The dip here related to the town. Thank you very much. Uh, like the lions, I have a feeling that I'm going to need this in the next couple of hours. Right, thank you everybody. I think it, we're now going to come on to the Mayor to officially open 
the Mayfair. And then let's get Right, everybody. Now comes the time when I let you loose on all of the entertainment and all of the stalls. We've done this uh, Mayfair up here for a couple of years now, and it does give us the opportunity to have many more displays than we used to do down at 4th Street. And I'd like to thank the Lions for laying this on for us. It, it's a tremendous amount of work. Almost the first thing that happens after the Mayfair shuts for the final time this year will be starting to get ready for next year. They do a tremendous amount. I'd like you to thank them for everything that they do. I just sit and watch them do it. So now we have the perfect combination. We have entertainment, we have food, we have drink, we have lots of friends here, and we have the chance to raise money for charity at the same time. What more could you want? And so far as is practicable, I can guarantee it probably won't rain that much. Probably. Though I have to say the ground down the foreign is a little soft. There's all sorts of things going on. Grab a chance to have a look at the programme and see what's going on. However, let's get to the good bit. I now declare the 2014 Mayfair open. Yeah. <laughs> 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 